Hey, Salt and Light family. This is Kathy again coming to you with another word of encouragement and instruction from the Lord to help you go forward in your life and your walk. And this word today is to help you get out of a rut that you are in. The Lord told me that a lot of people are walking around with heaviness right now, and that is a spirit because he gives us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So put on some good worship music, start showing some gratitude, clapping your hands. But I wanted to talk to you today out of Psalm 33. And the scripture, I'm coming from the New Living Translation. I'm going to read the whole psalm to you. It's eight verses. And this is when King David was fleeing with his armies from his son Absalom, who was trying to basically dethrone his dad and usurp him and his authority and get rid of him. And you may say, well, what does that have to do with me in my life right now? Well, remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places. There may be somebody right now at your job that may be trying to dethrone you or take your position or get rid of you. You have We have enemies all around us that are doing things in the spirit realm by using others who are not sold out to God and they're influencing them in the wrong way for the main purpose to attack you, God's chosen, God's anointed, or somebody that the Lord has put his hand on and has a work for them to do. But remember when Elisha prayed, O Lord, open my servant's eyes and let him see that there's more surrounding us than there are against us. And no matter how it looks and how much is against you. And right now I'm sensing a lot of you feel like you're up against a wall. You feel like you're up against a great army and you don't know how you're going to win. You feel surrounded. You feel scared. You feel deflated like a balloon and you, you're at the point of giving up. And trust me, I know what it's like to be that beat down and to be that attack. But that just shows how much greatness God has for you and you're about to break through. And he doesn't want you to give up. So I'm going to read Psalm 3 to you from the New, New Living Translation. And this is a king who wrote this. King David wrote a lot of the Psalms when he was down, when he was going through things. And it was also set to music. So it's used in praise and worship as well. And this applies to you right now. This word applies to you if you're in a battle, if you're in a struggle, if you're being attacked by people. Maybe you just went through a separation in your life and your heart is broken. Whatever's coming against you, just know that the Lord has already got the victory for you and he's already got an answer. And today, after you listen to this word, this is your moment of breakthrough. So I'm going to read with you Psalm 3 from the New Living Translation. And this is King David. O oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. When you're beat down and you're going through the worst, many people are watching you. Just remember that. Especially those of you that stand and proclaim the name of the Lord. And they're saying, oh, God's not going to rescue him. You can stand and pray all you want. Well, you trust me. He's going to deliver you. And he's going to show all the naysayers just who he is and just who you are that you belong to him. And in many ways, that helps win people to Christ. So he said, so many enemies are against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cried to you, the Lord, and you answered me from your holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. He watches over you while you sleep. Or you take a nap because he never sleeps nor slumbers. Verse 6. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surrounds me on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face. Shatter the teeth of the wicked. If King David can pray this, you can pray. And I've done that before. I've said, Lord, I need you to break my enemies. I need you to destroy their camp. And he does. Or if I'm praying for somebody else that I love, Lord, I need you to defend them and I need you to break the enemy's teeth and break their back and necks that's coming against them. And I see him do it. And I ask this in Jesus' name. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face. Shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. And this is a psalm of King David regarding the time he fled from his son Absalom. And the key scripture here that the Lord has spoke to me to record this video was verse 3. 
But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. And the King James Version said, you are, you are the glory and the lifter of my head. So the Lord sent me to tell you today to lift your head and hold your head up. Don't hang down anymore. Don't let your head or your arms hang down. Don't let your face droop. He is the glory and the lifter of your head, and he's about to lift your head in a way that people are going to be shocked and blown away when they see what God is about to do for you. See, the word says hope deferred makes the heart sick. That's kind of like if you get a loan and they defer the interest for like eight months. It's put off for a while, but then it comes all at one time. Well, that's the same thing when your hope is deferred. It may take a little while, but when it all comes, the Bible says when the answer comes, it's a tree of life. Sometimes there's timing. You have to go a little longer because you have to learn some biblical principles and you have to get your spiritual feet strong underneath you. You know, God's trying to get you out of the baby walker and off the off of the formula and onto the meat and riding without training wheels. So sometimes that's why you go through trials. So you will lean on him and not on people because we can make idols out of people, even though we don't mean to because we love them so much. He said, blessed is the man or the woman or the person who doesn't lean on the arm of flesh. He doesn't want you leaning on people and depending on them to do things for you that only he can do. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with family helping you. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, occasionally, you know, y'all strengthening one another. Because the Bible even says he who doesn't provide for his own household is worse than an infidel. But sometimes the Lord will knock all your props out from underneath you and what you're resting and leaning on because you're getting too comfortable and he wants you to lean on him because he is a jealous God. And if a king can do it, so can we. But he surrounds you with a shield and he is the glory and the lifter of your head. And, you know, God does not share his glory, his works and all the, you know, it's, it's kind of like when people clap for you and say, oh, you did a great job and that's all good. But when we know it's God that did it and not us and we're taking the credit for it. Then we, it's like we're still in his glory and he won't allow that because he is God and he wants people to come to him. So whatever you're going through today, whatever is coming against you, you may feel like you're just surrounded. You got so many bills, you're about to lose your mind and you, you lost your job or your hours got cut or your business closed. Maybe you're going through a, a divorce or a separation. Maybe you've lost an animal or someone you love. And you just feel like everything is falling on you right now. Well, I just speak for all of that to lift off of you right now. Peace to come to your heart and healing in the name of Jesus. And for you to release the burdens that you're carrying. Because the Lord says to cast your cares on him for he cares for you. He is the glory and the lifter of your head. And the Lord is about to come in like a mighty Russian wind. like a res He's going to rescue you. Because David said, oh Lord, rescue me. Say that. Say, Lord, rescue me. Help me. Or rescue whoever in your family or you love needs help. Lord, rescue them. Break the teeth of your enemies. Crush my enemies, O oh Lord. And these are the demons that are in operation behind people. It's not actually people, even though they are doing it. Just know that it's like they've got puppet strings on them. And they're being used by the devil and manipulated by him because they are not walking with the Lord. So the enemy has a hold of them like they're almost like they're a prisoner. And maybe they're hurt and offended and they've gone through stuff in their life and they don't know the love of the Lord. So continue to show it to them, even if they're doing you wrong. And God will honor you for that and he will lift you up that much more. And Jesus says, if I be lifted up or if I'm lifted up, I'll draw men unto me. Well, when he lifts you, lift him up, he lifts you up. And this word is coming to you if you're watching it because you've been lifting him up. And one of the ways you may be lifting him up is by helping people. And by helping his people, he said, if you have pity to the poor or you help the poor, you lend to the Lord. Well, the poor can be money. It could be in spirit. It could be poor in their um, self-esteem. They've really been hurt and beat down. God sees every little seed that you have sown, even in your time of need. And he's going to pay you back with interest. Because, you know, when you, pay, you get a loan, you have to pay it back with interest. I just refinanced my car loan. And I'm grateful I did because I got a lower interest rate, but I saw also what I'm going to have to pay back in interest. So my goal is to get it paid off as quick as possible. But when God pays you back, he pays you back with interest. And his interest is so much better than what the bank can give you. 
So I want you to just let all that roll off your back, be encouraged, and know that the Lord is about to lift your head and He's about to send help to you. He's about to send resources to you. He's about to send you the best job offer you've ever had in your life. He's about to send you the best spouse you could ever imagine that loves Him and will make the other one look like really faded, <laughs> okay? And it's, it, it's important to forgive everyone, but just when God restores you, you know, it's like when a piece of furniture is restored, you restore it back to its original condition, but you still have to do extra to make it even better and more usable. He does not forget any of the fragments in your life and the tears that you have sown. He said the tears he holds in a bottle in heaven. So if some of you may say, well, I got an ocean up there. Well, you know, he's got your ocean and he sees it and he hears it. He hears our prayers. He's heard your cries. And he is a shield around you. And that, that verse again is three. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. Those of you who are not sleeping good because you're worried and you're stressed out, I rebuke that spirit of anxiety and fear off of you. And, and that's where the enemy likes to attack a lot at night when we're quiet and still and it's dark and there's nothing moving and we need rest. Anxiety also comes from not letting things go and trying to figure it out with your natural mind. And it can come from the demon spirit of Python and Leviathan. It's kind of like a boa constrictor spirit that wraps around you and, and, and it holds on to you with fear. If you've ever seen a boa constrictor, it squeezes its prey to death and it knocks the air out of them. Well, that's what anxiety does to you. It makes you lose your breath, your heart pounds. Well, that's a spirit. I've been attacked with it before and I didn't know what it was until the Lord showed me through some people what it was. So I break that off of you. I break it off of me if it tries to attack me. But I just pray peace over you right now. And I'm asking the Lord right now to touch you in your stomach and in your nerves and in your mind. And I see some people around you in your ear. You should have done this and you should have done that. Well, just know that's the voice of the enemy, the accuser of the brethren. And I command him to be silenced in your ear too. But God is about to break through in the name of Jesus. And I command all this to leave you in Jesus' name. God is about to lift your head. And you're not going to walk around with your head hung down anymore. I see people sometimes in the store and I feel so bad for them because they're just walking around with their head down. I've seen them on the sides of the road hanging their head down, and I'll just ride by and say, Lord, be the glory and the lifter of their head. Lift their head and their heart because you know what's going on in their life. So your head is lifted when your heart is lifted and when your hope is given to you. So the hope deferred is coming to an end right now, the Lord says. I've got some things I've been believing and hoping for, too, and it's been a long season. I've been through a long season of storms and trials myself. I'm not telling you anything that I haven't experienced. When I get on here and give you a word because he tells me to, I've already walked through it or I'm finishing out walking through it. I just don't, I don't talk about it a whole lot because I don't want to give the enemy glory. Now I do share it with, with people and I sometimes share it on my videos, but I want to share more of the solution and what he's done for me. I go to him when I'm broken, but it's okay to talk to people. If you have someone you can trust or a parent, please talk to them and get it out of you. But I wouldn't be sharing it to everybody that will listen to you, and, and especially on social media, because it can get so just misconstrued and gone in 10 different directions. And next thing you know, people are calling you wanting to know why this happened and it never happened. So just keep it between you and God and those that you really trust. And I want to encourage you today, if um, you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, that's the first step to having total peace is by inviting the Prince of Peace into your heart and your life. He's been through so much more than any of us will ever be have gone through. You know, he was God's son. He was God in the flesh, but he was also human because Mary, his mother, is human. So he understands what we've been through. He's already gone through the worst. We'll never go through what he went through. So trust me, you have a king, a savior, and a friend who loves you and he's a friend for life. And if you've never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life or you're not sure if you have or you just want to make sure and have peace, just just say this right now. Just say, Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. Come into my heart. Save me. Wash me in your blood. I make you the Lord of my life. 
Fill me with your spirit to overflowing and use me. Amen. That's all you have to do. And then you have become a born again Christian, which means you were born from above and you have the spirit of God living in you. And now when you read the Bible, you're going to understand it. Now when you hear the voice of the Lord, see, many of you have heard him calling you and pulling you to and wooing you with loving kindness. He says, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. He's wooed me too, and sometimes he'll woo me again. He'll say, I want you to walk away from that, or I want you to draw closer, or I want you to draw away from that mindset, Kathy, that's not me. You were taught that, or it's just something that you've been around most of your life. You know, he keeps drawing us to better from image to image and glory to glory. And you, you should embrace what he wants to do in your life because it's only going to make you better. It's going to make you better. You glow more because he, he renews our youth daily like the eagles. And um, he has nothing but good things for you. So when you get a chance, read Psalm chapter 3, and you'll understand what this word is about. And let, let the Lord speak to you. Spend time in the word. Spend time with God. I speak healing to your soul and your mind, which is your, well, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. It's where you make decisions. It's where you feel our spirit is perfect. If our, our spirit is renewed with the spirit of God, it's perfect. There is no, no problem there in our body, our flesh, this temple, the skin suit that we live in is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So take care of it. You know, take care of it when you're eating, get some exercise, get some sleep, drink more water. You know, don't do things to it that will hurt it or make it sick. And if you have, just say, Lord, forgive me and make me whole. I, I receive my healing and just make, make your temple whole and teach me how to take better care of myself in your temple. And sometimes that starts in your mind. So feed your mind with the word of God. And if you have any comments, prayer requests, or if you prayed the prayer and accepted the Lord today, I want to know. I want you to put it in the comments so I can pray for you, so I can shout with you, so that other people... And our family can shout because our, our salt and light family is growing. And soon I'm going to do a video and I'm going to give my testimony and share some things that the Lord has done in my life that he's finally released me to share. Um, so if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be a part of this family, then please hit the subscribe button, the little bell icon. And what will happen is every time I upload a video, it'll let you know that, hey, there's a new Kathy D. Salt and Light video. And my name's Kathy. That way I want people to know my name. And so I can, you know, talk to you personally and one-on-one. -on -one. And um, please like the video because it helps God's algorithm. It helps the algorithm grow. And share this with people that you feel might need this word of encouragement. That's when you evangelize, when you share. So, all right. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And you have an awesome day. God bless you. And know that I'm praying for you. Bye-bye.